All right, we're gonna talk today about how to train ears to fold on a schnauzer puppy. Um, normally the ears will fold naturally on their own, just like this one is, where it's all nicely folded at the top of the head. But sometimes they'll do funny things like put a little crease in and fold the ears back. Sometimes the ears will start to stand up and you'll have one ear down, one ear up. But what we wanna to try to do is train this ear that's folding to fold the way we like to see it fold naturally at the top of the head. So what we're gonna do first of all, is we're gonna trace the pattern of the ear. So let's hold you this way, buddy. And I'm gonna kind of hold the ear where I want it to fold. And I'm gonna just trace a loose outline of the shape of the ear. So we have a rough, shape on the paper. Then what I'm going to do is cut that out and put it on a cut out a piece of material to match. Now this is a heavy flannel material and I've chosen to use the edge. It had a finished edge so I've chosen to use the finished edge and now this piece is going to get put glued on the underside of the ear so that I'm going to actually do it this way so that it will help encourage that ear to fold. So what I'm using is something called Jiffy Sew. It's a, a non-toxic uh, contact cement. Um, this one is specifically puppy dog ear forming adhesive. So it's not gonna hurt the pups. Um, what it's gonna do is glue the fabric to the little hairs on the ear and then over time, it will just grow out and come off. And initially, we just want to make sure when we put it on that we put it on with lots of glue so that they don't um, scratch it all off. So here I've put my glue on the fabric. Let me put this back. I should clean that off. So this is the fabric or the glue on the bottom of the fabric. I'll try not to glue myself to you there, buddy. So we're going to flip the ear over, put it on the underside of the ear, smooth it all out. Make sure we press it down. This extra glue. So this glue is basically going to turn into like a rubber cement stuff. You know, the things that come in your on flyers and stuff that you can just pull off and rub off. It kind of does like that. So we're just gonna hold it there to make sure it adheres uh, properly. And then when we're done, that it's, it might not seem, this is not a heavy fabric, but just that little bit of extra weight on the ear will help hold the ear down in that natural fold. And then, um, And then as, as it grows out on the hair, it will eventually come off. And then if it comes off and you leave it and the ear stays down, then you don't need to fold it, then you don't need to glue it again. You can sometimes encourage these ears to fold naturally this way. If your puppy gets to be five or six months old and the, the felt comes off and the ear still stands up, at that point, you're probably not gonna be able to do anything with the ears. So you can really only do this with young puppies, puppies that are under six months old. And ideally, the sooner you start, the better, because puppies now, their ears, they aren't a cartilage, they're just soft tissue, and they will harden and get cartilage in them as they get a little older. So, yeah. So now we have a folded ear that will stay down, hopefully, and we'll give it time to grow out and then we'll see what happens. 